Hey there, welcome to Esoteric Gaming. This is Cordova and Clark. We're going to be playing Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo today. Yes, this is our first LP, so uh, let's get this started. I know Cordova here hasn't played it that much. Nah, just once in a while ago, really. Yeah, and so I'm basically going to be the uh, main gamer for this. Sweet. Yeah. Um, we're going to try and take turns with it, like, but I'm going to die pretty quickly. I'm going to tell you guys right now. Yeah. So we're going to try to work this out so that it he doesn't die that much. Oh. What is this? Yes. In the story, King K. Rule stole all of Donkey Kong's banana horde. That's the reason why he's so mad. What? Oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the whole story of this. Is he's mad that he got all that he got all of his bananas stolen. Oh god, is it driving him bananas? God, that was a horrible pun. Yeah, it was. Awesome, it just died. Your turn. Uh now. Oh. Oh, I'm really happy about that pun. Hmm. Alright, so I just free. Diddy Kong, and as you saw up there, there is, oh, ah, uh, well. Alright, back to me. Alright, here we go, guys. Diddy is a faster character, but at the same time, he's able to still take out the Kremlings, but not with the way Donkey Kong does with the rolling, or with the normal attack. Yeah. Do you, Donkey Kong, just fucking jacked, isn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. He is definitely the biggest... Well, he's one of the biggest apes in the Donkey Kong universe. Yeah, I mean, but all he... Literally, all he eats is bananas. Like, I mean, you gotta wonder... Well, you have to wonder if it's just really that he eats nothing but bananas, or if the, he just... And this is the fun part, is being able to go back. Pass it back. Shit, I am really out of practice. I know. It's like, it's okay. I'm, I'm just uh, that Get the O. Oh, yes. There we go. Yeah, those vultures can be a real nuisance sometimes. Okay, you back. Alright. Boom. Holy shit. Um, so, like, did you used to watch the Donkey Kong, like, TV show back when it was, um, like, I forget what channel it was on, but it was, uh, was it Disney Channel or Cartoon Network? I don't know. I actually never watched it. It was pretty good. Like, it was, you know, usual kind of story where it's like, oh, we all have a problem and we'll learn something in the end. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God, this is bad for my gambling addiction. Oh, God damn it! Alright. <laughs> and he gets mad, yeah. Awesome. Like, this is the little stuff that people don't understand is like how hard games were to make back in the day. If you look at the background right there, I know I showed you this before, but you see how it just suddenly turned night. Mm -hmm. And bam, I just got a whole bushel of bananas out of there. Damn. Yeah, it's... This game was like really ahead of its time. Yeah, like way being, ahead of its time. Being able to create like a 3D world, a 3D universe out of this, mm -hmm. they sat there and they were like, "Okay, we're gonna take 2D, but we're going to double, like double overlay it." Okay, so you can't just run into things. Sorry. No, no, it's either jumping or rolling, which okay. you have not learned how to roll yet. <laughs> yeah, you could say I'm really not on a roll in this game. Oh god, I need to stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I've been having a problem for, like, last week, where, I, well, and by week, I mean lifetime, where I've been, like, making horrible, horrible puns. I will sometimes create puns, but you, you, you clearly have taken the cake on them. Yeah, I kind of got a problem. It's okay, though. Oh, my God. But I gotta admit, they are quite punny. <laughs> oh, oh, I hate, I hate myself. <laughs> oh dear god, I I want to smack in the back of the head for that one. I know, that one, it's just like, that one's like the go-to pun. Anytime someone says freaking anything pun related. 
I thought there was a barrel down there that I could launch out of, but... <sighs> it's been too long since I played. Yes. Oh, God! I, I, okay guys, I know, I know how much I'm sucking at this game. Um, gotta remember, this is like my very first time even trying it. Yeah. Well, second time, but the last time I was like 14. And I chose Diddy, because yeah. I know that Diddy can be harder to work with, because you can't kill things as easily with Diddy. You'd think that, but I'm not doing great with Donkey either. We can always trade up. Alright, alright, I'll try Diddy next time, just to see. Yeah. Because Diddy is faster, Donkey is a bit slower, so maybe that is something that you need to have. Yeah. There is a barrel down there, there is a bonus stage down there, but I just can't remember how to get to it. Whee! Um. Oh, so a little bit about us. Um, me and Clark have playing video games our entire lives, basically. Uh, I'm more of like a new schoolish gamer. Um, I really like indie games. Uh, and that's the majority of the games that I'll be choosing. But we're basically taking turns since Clark is from a different generation of games. I want to live in behind if you get what I'm talking about. Well, I kind of got to the PS2 era, finished that off, and then when the PS3 era came, I didn't have enough money to get the PS3 games, right. and I kind of got really annoyed with the fact that a lot of them were all a first-person shooter kind of game. Yeah, the first-person shooter is kind of like overtaking the freaking market, dude. And I'm... I don't know. That's why I kind of like indie games and like games like... Now, we can always go into Cranky's cab and see what he has to say. This here's a rhino country. The crafty croctopus corners his crop of collectibles in coral capers. You can't just roll over Slipper or just squash him with a jump attack. Come and see me sometime. Grandpa! Uh, me here. That's fine, but can you please, please stop using your spit cup everywhere? <laughs> that's my spit cup. Oh. Alright, so Got you it. wanted me to do Donkey while I do Diddy. Right. So, let me let me get you out of a barrel. <laughs> no, it is not a barrel full of monkeys. Stop thinking that. <laughs> yeah, I was totally thinking that. I'll admit it. I didn't make the joke, though. See? Yeah, but you were thinking about it. I was thinking about it so loudly, dude. Uh... It... Ugh... And I knew you were thinking about it too. That's the that's the sad part. Is yeah. I knew you were thinking about it. Like word for word, you got the exact thing I was looking for. Yeah. Oh god. Wait, doesn't that like the barrel that like Diddy comes in? Yeah, but once Diddy is with you, he doesn't come out of it anymore. But you don't know if there's like another monkey in there or not. He might have just like completely killed just one of his brethren, right? Well, we don't know any other brethren besides Cranky Kong. Candy Kong and Diddy Kong at this point. So, like, all we are... Oh, and Funky Kong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't forget Funky. Funky is, like, a staple up until uh, DK64. Speaking of which, I am looking so forward to DK64. That's going to be a good game. This is also a fucking amazing game. Like, I'm blown away by this. Oh, yeah, yeah. This was... Like, when I saw this in the store for the first time, it was... It, it was insane, because, like... It, the graphics that I got used to, the highest res graphics that I got used to, was definitely Super Mario World at that point. Which, that was, like, 32-bit era? No, 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 that's still 16-bit era, but it was still the fact that it was not... It, there was no 3D. Like, when you see this, like, this was the first, like, even halfway realized 3D game. Yeah. And I mean, you can tell, like, I'm wondering, the backgrounds, are they just, like, always computer generated? Because the first one kind of seemed almost claymation background, like, almost stop motion. I'm not sure on that one. This one looks like it's, uh, I think they're all just actually just painted backdrops, but they do it in such a way to make it look 3D, and since this thing is, like, halfway 3D and everything, mm -hmm. 
it ends up it ends up being like uh it fitting for the world whereas if you were to put like this background into super mario world or something it wouldn't fit right oh god get away get away oh okay all right all right so we got down arrow there are the fish oh. dangerous yes touch one just to see no okay i know for a fact they're dangerous how dangerous <laughs> they will kill me Kill them there we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is like the only weapon you have underwater, I and I that. still cannot kill that octopus even with half of this. Well, hey guys, how's it going? Oh, I'm just really enjoying my time here. Oh god, ow! Okay, that's my schnoz, man. All right, it's it's cool, donkey. It's freaking. Ah, okay, so I can see what you're doing. Like, why why do you keep doing this to me? Donkey, isn't it a little bit, you know, animal cruelty to, like, be kicking the backside of him? <laughs> I'm a fucking monkey, I don't care. Wait, is he a monkey or an ape or a gorilla? Um... They never really make it clear. That, that's I, like... I think he's an ape, actually, and there was another box with one of these guys in them. I just don't want to come off as racist. Oh, oh, you're, you're worried about the monkeys from, uh, Planet of the Apes coming to get you? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Dude, I, I genuinely am. Those things are horrible. Oh, 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 you get to see the fun stuff. Oh, sweet. What? Yeah, it's a little mini game. What? Go around and collect these things, and once you get a hundred of them, you get them an extra life, and... If you keep on getting more and more, like, you only have so much time, but, you know, you get, like, quite a few lives out of this. Nice. These are all animals you can ride eventually, but, uh, this is like their little mini-game. Dang. Clark, you're really good at this game. Like, you're really, really good at this game. Uh, it's taking a little bit of time to get some rust off the gears, but, yeah. I'm about to get about seven lives, and I'm about to show you the great secret of this. What? Yes. That's, okay, so that jumped you from 300 to 700. Yeah, it's a double up. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> I find it funny that they have Donkey Kong's face for the balloon. Yeah. Oh, dude. I mean, I had played Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fan. Well, 3 slash 6, they can't really decide. <laughs> yeah, oh, fucking. Uh, that never made sense. Well, it makes sense. It, it, like, it, it takes it makes... so much research to actually make it make sense. Yeah, it, it actually did. It was like, I had someone explain it to me, and I was still, like, confused back in the day. Like, what? Mm -hmm. Three is six, but it's in Japan, but not? And it just took me a little while to even get what they were saying. Right, like, and it's kind of like the Legend of Zelda timeline. Like, I've had that explained to me, and I've freaking read it, like, four or five times at this point. Yeah. And there's still, like, parts where I'm like, well, how does this work? And then I have to go back to it. And, yeah. It's... Whoa, dudes, my name's Funky Kong. My bodacious jumbo barrel can launch to any point on the island. But most unfortunately, it can always send you a place you are to, Which is a complete and total bummer, let me tell you. Whoa, dudes. Oh, he's just starting over. Oh, dang. Yeah. Dude. I can't go back to... That is the coolest fucking monkey I've ever seen. I'm just saying. Like, or slash ape. <laughs> like, sorry. Racist. But, um... I... You can definitely tell he's cool by his back-turned hat and sunglasses. Oh, yes. The 90s were full of the stereotypes. Yeah, like, that's just go-to, like... If I had to choose, like, a picture to describe the 90s, Funky Kong would be up there on it. Yeah. That with Encino Man. Oh, yeah. I fucking love Encino Man. Launching barrels. Forgot about these. Have you ever seen that one? Encino Man? Yeah, yeah. I've seen it once. 
Boom! Such a good movie. Shit and cheese. Oh! Forgot about that. Alright, back to me. For about five seconds, okay. probably. Well, jump on that guy. Oh, oh no, no, yeah, just, take, okay. just take your turn. There we go. Just take your turn. You could have actually launched yourself up at the Clark Kremlin. Okay, we go. Yeah, see, you're gonna take all the back routes that I don't normally take. Or the normal routes. Oh my god, I'm actually doing something! Oh god, oh god! Okay, wait, I can hit this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I literally just cannon shot myself to death. Yep. Which is ironically the way I would most like to go. All right. See, uh, I'll see you next time on Esoteric Gaming.